problem. Okay, John. <laughs> I'm finna record you. Okay, that's fine. So, so if I was gonna find the change of y or the change of x, all right, um, what we want to do is we want to find the change in our y value. So to go from five, remember guys, 100.7 x and a y, right? So I want to say, how am I changing to go from a positive five to a negative five? What am I doing? Am I going up or am I going down? Yeah. You're going down. How, how many? How many units? So you can say I'm going like down negative ten, right? And then to go from two to negative three, are you going up or down? Up or down? down. Two to negative three. Down. down. And how many units? Five. Five. So negative ten divided by negative five would be uh, a negative uh, or a positive two, right? Positive 2 over 1, which is equal to 2. Now, if that was kind of difficult for you, memorize this. You can also use this rule. M is, represents our slope, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Where this is x1, that's x2, y1, y2. Okay? Now, here's why we use this. I'm saying find the change, find the change, find the change, right? How do things change? Well, remember, the, another way to writing change, Marco, that's not going to help you pay attention. Well, how to find things change is the same thing as like the difference, right? The change is like the same thing as the difference. And you're, you're really used to using difference because the difference is what operation? Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. It's written up there. Yeah. <laughs> subtraction, right? So you're going to subtract your two variables. So you could say a negative 5 minus 5 all over a negative 3 minus 2. Well, negative 5 minus 5 is negative 10 over negative 3 minus negative 2 is negative 5. All right. Anybody have any questions on that? Yes. So why why are we going to talk when you always on the bottom? It's always a change in y over your change in x. All right. Okay.